please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all the help that everyone gives me between subscribers and followers. If you'd like to see more of these videos, leave me a comment in the video below. Thank you. Shoot out the windows so it'd be really good for final circle. Giving another option. Straight ahead of us is another big room, which we'll see in a second. in front of us, you can drop in, load out, drop in, but the little square window that's above us just now is a full window and you can't break it, so just be careful, otherwise you're going to have to go up to the roof through this stairwell to your left. So this is how we used to get up through the side here. And you come out on the top. If everyone used to come in here, it used to be blocked off. And now you can just walk through the doors. Brings you inside here. So you can see this is the bottom half of where we just were. Up the top of those stairs is where we came in initially. And we can go downstairs and outside. Alright, that's train station. two levels to downstairs and four levels including the roof when you go up so that gives us six levels to play around on um, you can drive to the very bottom which is just a big empty, empty car park which loot around I found a couple of gold chests down there and as you go up some doorways are quite limited to getting to the top especially on the inside
quite open with not very many hiding spaces, but you can also get people who are running around on the stadium seats. This staircase is just like any normal stadium, it goes up and down levels, and there's also back rooms. As well as later on, I'll show you there's a zip line which takes you not just to the roof, um, but there's another one that comes up to the top level. So to access this you actually need a blue key card just like the red key cards for bunkers. Um, they can be found and there's a couple of different codes. It's P216, CL19 or EL21. All of these will show you a specific door that you need to go to. Right, so what you see here is one of the new zip lines. It takes us pretty much to the top level. There's another one on the outside which takes you straight to the roof as well. Um, there's also another entrance. There are multiple buildings around Warzone at the moment. And hopefully I'll show you one, all of these in the newer videos that I do with tips and tricks. starts in this bottom corner where I've marked it on the map, no matter what. Every game I've done, it's always been the same spot.
can see here, obviously I died, but we're back to a full lap around the whole map on the train. And got a few kills in along the way. There's a few opportunities there for anyone who wants to play plunder and just go for kills. Um, or quickly sneak by around the map so that you can get on the other side of your opponent if you want to flank around. Catch me on Twitch or leave a like and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Stuardo out.